a nice, calm, beautiful day. How about we sit back, relax, and look at some fun facts with Discord? What do you say? Cool. Gary Dahl created the pet rock as a joke amongst his friends while they talked about the difficulties of keeping up a house pet. However, the public loved the idea so much that Dahl managed to sell 1.5 million pet rocks in a single year, which allowed Dahl to make off with $15 million in his pocket. Which goes to show you most humans will buy just about anything. When U.S. President Theodore Roosevelt died in his sleep in 1919, the sitting vice president, Thomas R. Marshall, said death had to take Roosevelt sleeping, for if he had been awake, there would have been a fight. And knowing Theodore Roosevelt, he absolutely would have punched death right in the face. Right, right. <laughs> the survival game Manhunt is actually banned in New Zealand for its excessive violence. No copies are allowed inside the country, and this goes for the sequel Manhunt 2 as well. And soon there will be a greater threat. Manhunt 3. The Hunter Man. For the Star Wars prequels, Samuel Jackson asked the prop designer for the iconic purple lightsaber. He refused, but ended up giving Samuel the lightsaber anyway. Honestly, I would love to meet the guy who tries to say no to Samuel Jackson. Now I'm imagining that there's an alternative universe where Mace Windu didn't have the purple lightsaber. Like it's pink or yellow. Dogs see fewer colors than humans do. Instead of our colors, our dogs would see dark blue, light blue, gray, light yellow, darker yellow, and very dark gray. Dogs can't see the color red, among other things. I also want to take this moment to bring up that even though humans can see probably over 1 billion colors, there's still some we can't see, but the rainbow shrimp can. In the original DC Comics, Superman could never fly. Sure, he could leap over skyscrapers and was buff as Hades, but it wasn't until the 1940s when animators for cinema cartoons found it easier to draw him flying than drawing his knees bending over and over. After that, he gained one more power. I kind of want to go back to the Superman that could only just jump really high. I think he has too many powers going for him right now. Especially when he is such a vanilla character. He's like DC Goku. In My Hero Academia, or Boku no Hero Academia, the characters Suyu, Hagakore, and Hatsume were originally going to be male. Horikoshi, the author of Boku no Hero Academia, changed them to female because he thought there was a lack of female characters in the manga. And bonus fact, the character Bakugo Katsuki was originally not going to be a huge jerk. He was just going to be a character that didn't think before speaking, so it was unintentional when he hurt someone verbally. So he was going to be an accidental penis instead of an actual penis, but he's still a penis because he's Bakugo. The Flying Tigers of the United Air Force, although not really part of the US military at all, made dramatic escapes. Only three American volunteer group pilots are known to have been captured in action. Arnold Shamblin is believed to have bailed out of his plane but never came back and is presumed to have been killed by his captors. Lou Bishop and William Mac McGarry both became prisoners and then escaped. Bishop, who had been picked up by the Vichy French in Vietnam, was eventually turned over to the Japanese. Amazingly, he broke out of a prison train headed from Shanghai to Manchuria one night in early 1945. He managed to work himself free from his leg restraints in the dark without his captors noticing. While his train moved across the open country, he just stood up, hopped over the side of the car, and rolled into a gully. Shots were fired, but the engine did not stop. Bishop eventually made contact with an English-speaking Chinese man who was connected to the underground resistance and was smuggled to safety. Captured by Thai police after being downed over northern Thailand, Mac McGarry was handed over to the Japanese for interrogation. But when they were finished with him, they handed him back. The Thai authorities then jailed him in Bangkok. Enlisting the aid of an inside man, the U.S. Office of Strategic Services forged a death certificate so that McGarry could be successfully spirited out of the prison and out of the country in a coffin. Where is that movie? The state of Ohio has a lot of weird laws. Some examples are of, in Canton, if one loses their pet tiger, they must notify the authorities within one hour. Also in McDonald, your duck may not be paraded down Ohio Avenue. And a final one being that in Toledo, it is illegal to throw your snake at anybody. What am I supposed to do with my emergency pocket snake then? I'm getting you mugged in Toledo, Ohio. A pizza box is able to make a stand for itself if you want it a couple inches higher off the ground. Or if you're eating on an especially heat sensitive surface. But why would you? This fun fact was brought to you by the useless life hack community. Keeping your life nice and convenient since 2013. Empathy is an automatic response. You cannot stop yourself from feeling sad if you see a sad person. That works too if you see someone laughing. But why does that happen? We have some cells in our bodies called mirror cells. These cells are the cause of phantom pain, ASMR response, and that feeling of hunger when you see an ad for food. It must be something though that mirror cells are different for everybody because I'm sure some non-empathetic people can still get triggered by an ASMR response. 
Uh, that's... I think there's more to that fact that needs to be said. The original Five Nights at Freddy's didn't include Foxy the Pirate Fox, but instead Chipper the Mexican Beaver. Okay. Creator Scott Cawthon changed it last minute because of a drawing his son made. It, of course, was a pirate fox. That sounds way better. Scientists are learning to use crows and ravens to clean up cigarettes from parks and beaches. They built an invention that when a cigarette is placed inside it, it will dispense some bird food. This is actually working very well and might be implemented in cities and parks. So we might save ourselves by birds getting the hungries. I always knew the crows and ravens would save us. But that was just a matter of opinion. <laughs> and finally, the mimic octopus mimics venomous and dangerous animals in the ocean to war off predators by changing color, shape, and movement. This is already cool, but scientists have noticed that there are a few different forms that we have no clue what they're mimicking. Not only that, but fish who see these rare unknown forms are terrified of them. So in conclusion, this is why I'm afraid of what's in the ocean. Someone go back in time and tell them that Otto Varn Bismarck is afraid of the ocean.